Okay, so in this video, uh, we're going to continue our discussion of this multiple linear regression model. Um, so I already ran the, the model and I have, um, basically I have all these different variables uh, trying to predict uh, the cost of health insurance. So a uh, person's age, BMI, number of children they have, uh, that yes, they're a smoker, they're female, and what region they live in. And then I have this interaction effect between BMI and smoking that I found uh, to kind of help me, um, you know, uh, make my model look a little better uh, specified. Okay, so um, now let's go ahead. So this was my data, okay. Let's go ahead and analyze these residuals. So I'm gonna create a new spreadsheet and I'm gonna call it residuals. Re residuals. Okay, and let's highlight the residuals. So control shift down, highlight them, press control C and press control V. Okay. Um, so first thing I want to do is go ahead and let's go, let's highlight them. Let's go to insert and then um, if you press this down arrow for charts, press all charts. Uh, let's do the box, box and whisker plot first. I'm gonna press okay. All right, and that is not looking great. So what would I want ideally? Ideally, I would want, you know, my box plot to be very symmetric looking, okay? So it's centered on zero, right? And you're seeing, mm, it's not hugely not centered on zero, but what I'm seeing are these very heavy tails, okay? So that's not really the box plot I was hoping to see. Let's, uh, next, let's go ahead and do a uh, histogram of these residuals. So let's go here, um, highlight the data once again, and uh, go up to insert, charts, all charts, and let's do a histogram and press OK. All right, so uh, yeah, it is, Again, yeah, we're seeing again those kind of heavy tails, okay? So heavy tail uh, is kind of interesting there. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is uh, the QQ plot or the um, normal uh, probability plot. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to, well, let's delete, delete this and maybe delete that. Um, create a new column here called sorted residuals. Okay, equals sort, all right? And then you want to highlight all your data, so all, all the residuals. So um, shift control down, okay? Close parenthesis and press enter, and it'll automatically, it'll just fill it all in there and sort it for you, okay? Um, then I want to standardize those, so standardized or actually it's called actually semi-studentized residuals. Okay, and this equals uh, our residual uh, divided by the standard error for the mean squared error for the regression. So if I go back to my multiple linear regression model, let's scroll all the way back up, uh, this standard error right here. So I can click on that cell you can see it's, even though I moved to a new sheet, it, it, uh, it's still, the formula is still up here, okay? Uh, so then I can just, you know, in the formula bar, just press enter, okay, and it'll fill it in for me. Now I want that B7 to stay where it's at, so I'm gonna lock it by using um, dollar signs. So dollar sign in front of the B, dollar sign in front of the seven, and then press enter again, okay? And then get your cursor to look like this black cross, double click, and it'll fill it all in for me. Okay, so it's taking each value and then dividing it by what's in this spreadsheet with B7. Okay, press enter. All right, uh, next I need to calculate Z. Uh, so these Z values, and I talked a little more about this when I was uh, talking about, um, or when we were back in the simple linear regression model, and I can provide a link to that video um, in the discussion or in the uh, comments. Um, or description of this video. Um, but basically, uh, this Z is what we would expect. Uh, so like this first one, if you had you know this many observations, right, what would we expect this lowest Z to be? 
And to calculate this, I do need, I need a, a column that's basically the order number. So let me create a column here called order number. And it's gonna be one, two, three, four. This is like, this is the smallest, second smallest, third smallest, etc. cetera. Uh, just do a few numbers and then double click and it'll automatically fill it in for you. Um, so the formula for Z is equals uh, norm dot S dot inverse, okay? And then the probability that you're gonna give it is um, k minus 0.375, where k is just the order number. So the order number minus 0.375, okay? Divided by n, which is our sample size, uh, which I need to, so 1338. Okay, so the number of observations, I can delete that. So 1338, uh, and then let's see, I think it's plus, yeah, plus 0.25, okay. So make sure you have parentheses around the numerator and denominator, all right, looks good, press enter. All right, and then get your cursor on that formula and double click and it fills it in for you. All right, so this is what I wanna plot. I wanna plot the semi-studentized residuals against Z, and they should be one-to-one, uh, -one, basically. So let's go ahead and uh, go to, let's see, up here to insert. Uh, I like to put my cursor somewhere blank when I do a scatter plot. Let's start with this, a blank scatter plot. Right-click, press Select Data, press Add. All right, and the X, on the x-axis, I want this z value. Oh, don't include the label, so start with the number. Shift control down, okay? And on the y-axis, I want my semi-studentized residuals. So start with the first uh, number, shift control down, and press okay, and then press okay. Let's scroll up and let's look at it. Okay, very interesting here. So where, what do we want it to look like ideally? Ideally, we want this plot to basically go through the origin and have a slope of, eh, actually, let me erase that because this, they didn't even, so have a slope of zero and then go through, uh, or slope of one and go through the origin. So one would be here, two, three, four, uh, one, two. So this is a slope of one. That's what I want this plot to look like. And that is not what I'm seeing. Okay. So that is the heavy tail, uh, you know, problem. And so in the next video, we're going to talk about how to address this, this, this problem here of the, the heavy tails.